Our story today is The Impossible Pet Show. My best friend, Carla Hernandez, called me on Thursday afternoon. Daniel, meet me in the park near the playground in five minutes. I have a great idea. This worried me because Carla's great ideas almost always mean big trouble for me. I dashed outside and jogged to the park. When I saw Carla, my heart sank because her gigantic dog, Pero, was with her. I liked everything about Carla except Pero. I've never had a pet, so I feel uncomfortable and nervous around animals. I'm embarrassed to say that I'm afraid of Carla's dog. Carla smiled. Isn't this the perfect location for a pet show? She asked. All the kids in the neighborhood can show off their pets, talents, and demonstrate the things they do well. There are plenty of comfortable benches for our parents and friends to sit on. And since you don't have a pet to enter into the show, you will be the announcer. I'm sorry, I apologize, but that's impossible. Crowds make me nervous and unsure. Besides, I don't like animals, remember? That's nonsense, said Carla. There's nothing to be concerned about because you'll be great. Just then, Pero leaped up and slobbered all over me and almost knocked me down. Yuck, down, Pero, stay, I shouted. Pero sat as still as a statue. Wow, you're good at that, said Carla. Now let's get started because we have a lot to do. By morning, I had practiced announcing each pet's act a hundred times. My stomach was doing flip-flops by the time the audience arrived. The size of the crowd made me feel even more anxious. When the show began, I gulped and announced the first pet. It was a parakeet named Butter, whose talent was walking back and forth on a wire. When Butter finished, everyone clapped and cheered. So far, everything was perfect, and I was beginning to feel calmer and more relaxed. I realized that being an announcer wasn't so bad, after all. Then it was Carla and Pero's turn. Sit, Pero, she said, but Pero didn't sit. Pero was not paying attention to Carla. He was too interested in watching Jack's bunnies jump in and out of their boxes. Suddenly, Pero leaped at the bunnies who hopped toward Mandy and knocked over her hamster's cage. Pudgy, the hamster, escaped and began running around in circles while Kyle's dog Jake howled. This was a disaster and I had to do something. Sit, I shouted at Pero. Quiet, I ordered Jake. Stay, I yelled. Everyone, kids and pets, stopped and stared at me. Even the audience froze. Daniel, that was incredible, said Carla. You got the pets to settle down. That's quite an achievement. Sadly, that was the end of our pet show, but now I have more confidence when I speak in front of people. And even though I'm still nervous around animals, Pero and I have become great friends. And I discovered my talent too.